Hello viewers, welcome to the video. Something a little bit different today because we are traveling to Brands Hatch in the United Kingdom for a nine lap race in the go-kart. We're doing some go-kart racing. Here it is, shifter go-kart actually, six gears, go over 100 miles an hour and we're racing on Brands Hatch, so a car circuit. So obviously a very quick go-kart here, or a cart. I don't think the term go-kart quite applies to this. So here we go. Now this is something I definitely wouldn't recommend. Um, well, not a go-kart race, but what I mean is going into the race without doing any practice. So you can see I started last because I didn't set a time. So I'm going in here trying to learn everything. And well, that's why my SR is so low. Although I'll take a one second penalty for punting off the guy. Um, I, well, he did kind of slow down on the exit, but I still shouldn't have murdered him quite like that. Although only a one second penalty for fully wiping someone out. That's uh, interesting. So just going to really get to grips, excuse the pun, with the cart. Now these things just have phenomenal grip. Going around the outside of those two guys. And the problem with it, especially if you're on a controller as we go over the curb, well that pretty much sums it up. Um, it's really hard to correct oversteer. It's twitchy AF very very twitchy so you get a little bit of oversteer and you try to correct it and you're flying off the other way so this guy spins and get a bit of a slide and then yeah correct it into the wall and I'm spinning around so probably that Italian guy might catch up with me in a moment although coming over the line to begin lap 8 so I'm way down the order here ninth out of 12 fruit panic kill Ben you can see you can carry so much speed uh, around right about 100 miles an hour, or just under 100 miles an hour, you can almost go flat out through there. But you do need a bit of a lift to kind of settle the cart. So then down the hill into Graham Hill Bend. This this corner, you don't, you almost don't have to break for this one either. This is just how much grip these carts have got. It's quite strange actually flying into the corners. This kind of speed. Final corner here on the circuit. Very difficult to get right. Running for that early apex down into fourth gear. But you can see there, I've been setting purple sectors, so we're going to see how it progresses as we go over the line, which is just coming up here. And there we go, fastest lap of the race, 48.7. So, yes, the result is pretty bad, and I've murdered some people, but in the end, I've got to grips with it. Kind of learnt how to kind of negotiate this car around the track. So, crossing the line, uh, it's going to be an eighth. Okay, disappointing result, but we did get fastest lap, went up seven positions, one of which we smashed off onto the gravel. Uh, but here's the second race. So I actually set a time this time, and you see just how bouncy this car is. That That is true though, when you steer a car from one end to the other, like a full lock, the rear wheel should, or sometimes lifts up slightly, or sometimes entirely off the ground. You might see that in a lot of kart racing. So, here we go then, night from the grid, through first corner, and this time a little bit better, I've just given Andreas a little punt up the hill. So then into Druids at the top of the hill, bit of contact, it's really hard to kind of get past people cleanly because it's so twitchy as I said, and you don't want to um, push yourself off. And this guy is going to go for a nice little bunny hop over the curb, going wide, past him up into 7th, and the Russian ahead gets a penalty for that. So I just wonder, if you make side-on-side -side contact with someone, just drive off the track, and then the game will think, oh, you got pushed off by that guy, and you give him the penalty. Maybe. I don't think there's quite some scope to do that, but you probably could end up doing that in some situations. So, over the line, seventh place, so made up two, is getting argy-bargy up ahead, and you see, oh, <laughs> he's going to go flying off. It's actually quite funny just watching people switch completely from one direction to the other very reminiscent of sim twitch on Forza Motorsport where you try and uh, counter steer and you just fly off completely the other way so obviously not what you're aiming to do purple sector then I've just nudged him wide and I'm probably gonna get a penalty for that yes I am there it goes three seconds that's a bit more realistic I suppose it's just uh, nudging him a little bit should have backed off slightly so then into the final corner really tricky corner Brands Hatch is not an easy circuit to get right and especially in a, in a cart like this, which is extremely capable of handling, 
In fact, it's, it's almost too capable because it, it, it turns so tight that it's actually really hard to deal with. So you have to be extremely smooth. This does actually promote very smooth driving, very consistent driving. It's better to perhaps not push too much and be a, maybe a little bit cautious. How about that? So up the hill into Druids, taking a wide line, although it kind of gives you a straighter exit so you can get the power a little bit earlier. As we come now down into uh, Graham Hill Bend, the Frenchman's just driven himself off the circuit, up into fifth. So the race here is actually fairly close. You can see first place is less than two seconds ahead, uh, about 1.5. Uh, the slipstream is actually really powerful in, in these vehicles. You get behind someone, you can definitely feel the suck, the, the suction force as you tuck into the aerodynamic area behind them. So you see him in the truck tuck into the Frenchman's slipstream and you can see definitely catching up as we max out around about 107 miles an hour. So we're gonna break even as we go into Paddock Hill Bend. Just about gonna touch the gravel, lose a bit of momentum. Frenchman's back past up the hill. So hovering here in fifth, someone's on the inside there. And a bit of contact. Uh, that's to be expected though, it's kind of, it's really hard, as I said, to really precisely control your car. And I've done the same to the German. I'm gonna let him go eventually though. It's Andreas, we had a nice little come together on the first lap, but now he's going to come back through. I'm into sixth place. I'm down to seven. So not a bad race so far. And it's, it's only lap four. We've still got five more laps to do after this one. So it can all change, definitely. And you see the leader. is The lead really isn't far away. So we still get ourselves back into this fight, um, perhaps just by slipstreaming everyone and uh, getting back into it that way. So up the inside of the German, uh, Andreas, into turn one. Paddock Hill bend, and there it is. It was bound to happen, this is only my second race, and the incredible the counter steering skills are simply not in evidence today as uh, I just killed myself once again. I've got the inside of the Russian then, it, yeah, it was, it's just a really clumsy move. So perhaps it's best to wait until you, maybe you corner exit to go past people rather than lunge up the inside, make this contact, and you just end up doing that. And. <laughs> And, well, for the second time today, I think I've murdered someone else, a Frenchman this time. Um, yeah, so just bundle him off on the, bar, on the final corner. And I don't think he was too happy here because I made a mistake. And I just come back on and then he hits me in the back. So this guy must be so pissed off at me right now. And I, I don't get a penalty for any of it, somehow. As we cross the line. 11th. A disappointing race, once again, it looks like. But we've got a battle with this Frenchman who's probably hell-bent on killing me. But, well, he doesn't need to if I kill myself. So, yeah, I'm going to skip that one. I finished 13. Disappointing. So, a little bit of a quick warm up here um, just before the final race. Our aim is to actually get on the podium here this time as we go into the pits and uh, have a nice little spin around at the warm up. Oh, hello. What's going on here then? Anyway, uh, here we go. Fifth place on the grid. It's a BB race. Everyone's a BB, it looks like. Uh, rating. Fifth place, I've improved my qualifying time to a 48.8. And from fifth place, we have a good chance. Let's see if we can uh, go about at least winning this race, or at least trying to get to the end without making a stupid mistake. The mistakes are what you've got to cut out here. It doesn't matter so much about out and out pace. You just need to make sure you're not the guy who ends up in the barrier, uh, which is always useful. So up through turn one. Once again, argy bargy between the Spaniard and the Germans, and we've got a um, Carter there, appropriately named for the race. A couple of bumps in the rear end, nothing too bad. Well, actually, clearly it was too bad because the Spaniard gets a penalty. And so then through Surtees, through McLaren, and then into the final corner through Clearways. So up the inside of the German, bit of contact. I'm not sure he could quite see me as I came through on the inside there, but uh, no worries. I don't think he got a penalty for that either. So. Sometimes it's best that you just don't get a penalty. Sometimes I don't think you always there always has to be a penalty for someone. Sometimes you know just racing incidents. Sometimes things just happen and no one really was to blame. But anyway, up the hill, that German behind is going to get claimed by the rest of the pack. The, the first German, I think he may have got punted on by the Brit just up ahead there. Yes, he got a penalty. So I'm the only person in the top three here without a penalty, which could be crucial when the Spaniard goes for a nice little ghosting session through the Brit here and to give him a nice little uh, bump draft as we come into McLaren so final corner on the circuit so two Brits up against a Spaniard who's going to win here we've got some Germans behind though who 
would most certainly like to get back in on the action. So Carter there just backing off, I think. So let me go through. So up to second. From fifth to second, two laps. So onto lap three. Uh, so the race is looking pretty good here. Carter up the inside. I'm going to take a slightly faster outside line and keep the position up into Druids. So I'm going to hammer that home, hammer home my second position. And the Spaniard's gone wide. The race is on here as he's, uh, he's backed right off through that corner. Got an incorrect line. And I'm back in with a chance. Well within slipstream range now. So I'm going to try and make the most of that. Although the guys behind us are lurking. They're definitely still in with a shot here as we're still only on lap three. So I suppose, I mean, from here, I could just settle for second. He's, he's got a penalty, I'll probably beat him. But, you know, you want to win on circle. You want to be the first person to cross the line. Look into that slipstream, there it is. And uh, just going to pull out to the outside. It's a very close battle, as you briefly look behind. And cuts it up the inside. It's actually a really good move. Really uh, cleanly done. Up into Druid's for the fourth time. He's got the inside. Oh my god, what a pass. Hacking and Schumacher. Eat your heart out. We've done a better one here. I put Druids around the outside and the inside of the Spaniard. He simply did not see that one coming. Double attack from the Brits. We're up to first and second. So then through Surtees. Through McLaren. Into the final corner. I'm going to go down two gears. Oh, bit of a contact there. As the brick comes up the inside, he's got another penalty. I think he's going to back right off, though. He's letting me go, and I just give him a nice little uh, nudge on the way through. Renzo, now the German up into the lead, although with a penalty. I'm up the inside with that slipstream. Am I going to go for the move? Yes, I am. I'm bloody going to go for it. No caution show being shown today. Up the inside, into Paddock Hill Bend. I retake the lead. My rightful position. Oh, my God, what is that? That is lunge of the century, but it hasn't come off for Carter. And I think it looked like a brake failure. His brakes simply not uh, work for him there. This goes way on into the grass. So that is uh, one of our competitors pretty much eliminated from the race. Although you can never really say it's over till it's over. Especially in these cars, you've seen how easily I've been making mistakes. Although this race, I must say, um, quite a lot more consistent, quite a lot better. The pack, though, is very close behind. As we come up to cross the line, at the end of the fifth lap, only uh, four laps remaining. Can I keep my cool and go for a win? That would be very nice indeed. I haven't got the fastest lap. The German behind has that honour. Uh, Renzo, with a company inside, I'm going to hit my breaking point just after the shadow. I go down to the fourth gear, keep it steady through there. Make sure we don't get too much oversteer. I think the best remedy for the oversteer and twitchiness is simply not to steer too much and get the oversteer in the first place and not get on the throttle too early. That way you, kind of won't, you won't get the oversteer in the first place, so you won't have to worry about it as much. So we're going to try to seek some caution now in the second stage of this race, as we try to close it out with a victory, as we wind round onto the main straight. So Renzo's still lurking. He does have a penalty, which could go into my favour. So if he does get past, I just need to kind of stick close to him. At worst, it's going to be sort of a one second penalty, you'd think, unless he gets rid of it completely. So, I mean, even if it's a 0.1 second penalty, if he crosses the line with it, it's going to uh, go, uh, round up to a one second. So, as long as he's still got that, I can finish within a second of him and still win the race. So, uh, ideally, though, you know, as I said earlier, you want to cross the line first to kind of show that you, know, you were the winner outright. So into the final corner. Uh, just raising the curve can, can be dangerous to do that, and I've got on the power a little bit too early. The cart kind of wanting to drive off to the grass. I'm going to take a really defensive line. You don't always have to look behind, you can just monitor the gap on the top left of the screen. So, very close indeed. Just a couple of attempts as you go into Padical Bend. There's a line that goes across which signifies the end of the pit lane exit, and that's kind of a good indicator for when to turn in. Just breaking on the shadow again. Getting the apex very nicely, two wheels on the line, down the hill into Paddock Hill Bend. Just one and a half laps remaining, set in purple sectors here, three temps up in our previous best. Receiving a nice nudge from behind from the German, that's only helped us though. A nice little booster session, nitrous oxide coming out of Grand Hill Bend along the Cooper Strait. So then, final corner on the penultimate lap, we have one lap remaining. A back marker is just up ahead, I'm not sure if he's going to play a part. Let's hope he doesn't. 
unless it's in my favour, of course. So crossing the line, there we go. It's not a good lap. To, well, it's, it's an okay lap, 49-0, although the fastest in the world is like a 47-0. And quite how they've done that, I don't know. That's quite beyond my level of skill. So up the hill, he's not really going for it. The German isn't really trying to make an impression here. He seemed quite settled in second, and he hasn't really made many attempts to get past. So once again, the four attempts up in first sector. Can we make the most of that to the end? I don't think that's quite going to be a penalty. We're running slightly wide. Out of Granville Bend, no, it's not, luckily. So one more corner left here. Uh, just don't make a stupid mistake. Don't do it. There we go, we've done it. We've done it fine, I mean. I'm going to come up, uh, come up to the line. He's going to get in that slipstream. It's going to be really close in terms of who's going to cross the line first. And I've just about done it. To come through for a victory. Take me three races there. But we got there in the end. And in the end he did have only a one second penalty. As, as suspected. But it was a good race actually. Good interesting battle for the first half. And then just quite a nervy one at the end. Trying to keep the German behind. But there we go. I do hope you enjoyed it as always, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts as always. I shall see you in the next one. Obviously, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. And I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Listen.